Mm -mm -mm. I have eaten in restaurants all my life. My parents took me out all the time. I love eating in restaurants. Well, you don't have to do dishes. People wait on you. The food is brought to you. It's so easy. You know, it's great flipping through the menus and you have to ask things like, what are you going to have? What are you going to have? And you always order something that someone else isn't getting because you're going to be able to taste the other person's stuff. I think that's what's so great about eating out. But eating out is very dangerous. It's dangerous because you're not there portioning your food out. You're not there with your measuring cups and spoons. Well, it's like celebration time. Now, some people on Deal a Meal pull back from eating out, but sometimes you have to eat out. So here are some simple rules that we want to discuss with you today. Remember, if you eat out, you still have to pull your cards. Deal a Meal is not just for food in your home. Dinner is dinner, whether you're in your own dining room or whether you're at Gino's Pizzeria. The toughest ones for me, and maybe the toughest ones for you, are buffets. Anything where there's a table of free food. I mean, it's so difficult, actually, to make a decision because, well, I used to go to cafeterias, and it started out with the desserts, and it just went on and on like a free-for-all. If you're going out to a restaurant, know the cards you're going to have ahead of time. If you're going out for a special meal, Pull your cards in the morning for that special dinner so that you know exactly what cards you can have for that particular meal. If you're going to eat out, you've got to plan it. All this is very important. Now, please don't waste your cards on appetizers. They're all fried. Go for the salads first and ask for the dressing on the side. Now, you may be the kind of person who brings their own dressing. Don't feel uncomfortable about that. Don't be intimidated. Ask questions. There's a kitchen back there, just like you have a kitchen. If there's something you want, you can ask for it. If you just want a salad with vinegar or dressing on the side, ask for that. Don't be intimidated by all those fancy salads and stuff. Now look at the entree, choose carefully. Think of what you had for other meals so that you can see what you have left for this meal. Now people go into a coma when they sit down at the table. They start passing the bread. Now, a piece of bread is a bread card, whether you eat it in your home or you eat it in a restaurant. You may think it's free. A lot of people who go out for, to eat, if they're not picking up the check, they say, hey, you're paying the tab. I don't have to pull my cards. Are you nuts? This food is in your tummy. So even if you're not paying with your credit card, you still have to pay with your deal meal cards. They are your lifeline in situations like this. If there is something that is not on the menu and you know that a piece of grilled chicken is three meat cards and you don't see it, there's a grill back there. So ask for it the way you want it. And if it comes out wrong, let the waiter know. I mean, if you went and bought a shirt and you got it home and it had a rip in it, well, you would take it back. You wouldn't just sit there and say, I just spent $40 for a shirt. Let me mend it. You would go back to the store and say, excuse me, there's a rip in my shirt. It's the same with eating out. If there's something that comes to you and it's got gravy on it, or you ask for sauce on the side, or you have to ask questions like, does this have any oil in it? Don't be afraid to ask these questions. You're paying for it and you should be getting what you paid for. Now there are some restaurants, and we're going to talk about them as the days pass by, that are a little more difficult than others to break down the food, like Mexican or Chinese. But that's another day. So if you have to go out, just remember these rules. Planning and moderation are the key. Always, always give yourself plenty of time to figure out what you can have. Don't let anyone rush you. Making the right choice is the most important part. Don't feel punished. And remember, every taste counts. Watch out for eating off of other people's plates. Because there's an old rule that goes, if you're tasting something, it doesn't count. It does count. Remember, a second on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Number five, remember portion control and ask for a doggy bag. For desserts, there's always fresh fruit. If you want a bite of someone else's dessert, that's going to be a joker card, about 30 to 35 calories. Number seven, make sure you enjoy yourself. Oh, waiter! Waiter, could you just come here for...